magic book to see what we can see. Let's go to the magic book, the magic book, the magic book. Let's go to the magic book to be what we can be. Jump into the pages, come to magic lands. Jump into the pages, everyone hold hands. Dinosaurs and princesses, snakes and butterflies. There is a character of every shape and size. Story Lady will tell you a tale of every kind, starting with the word of once upon a time. Let's go to the magic book, the magic book, the magic book. Let's go to the magic book to see what we can see. Let's go to the magic book, the magic book, the magic book. Let's go to the magic book to be what we can be. Oh. Hmm. Oh my goodness, Bunny. What a lovely morning in the garden. I got to have some nice mint for my tea, and it looks like you did really well for yourself, too. Let's see, tomatoes from our tomato plant. Oh, Bunny, you did such a great job. And what about this one? Oh, that one's basil, that's my favorite. Oh, I love basil too. I'm so excited, everyone. Today we grew some fantastic things in the Story Lady's garden. And our story today is also about gardening. I'm very excited to share it with you. It is called The Update Pot. That's right. Are you all ready to share that story with us today? All right, let's all get into our story listening places, our SLPs, and let's go on a story discovery adventure. Today, our story discovery adventure led us to a wonderful book. It's called The Empty Pot by Demi. The Empty Pot by Demi. A long time ago in China, there was a boy named Ping who loved flowers. Anything he planted burst into bloom. Up came flowers and bushes and even fruit trees, as if by magic. Everyone in the kingdom loved flowers too. They planted them everywhere and the air smelled like perfume. The emperor loved birds and animals, but flowers most of all, and he tended his own garden every day. But the emperor was very old. He needed to choose a successor to the throne. Who would his successor be? And how would the emperor choose? Because the emperor loved flowers so much, the emperor decided to let the flowers choose. <laughs> the next day, a proclamation was issued. All the children in the land were to come to the palace. There, they would be given special flower seeds by the emperor himself. Whoever can show me the best in a year's time, he said, will succeed me to the throne. The news created great excitement throughout the land. Children from all over the country swarmed to the palace to get the flower seeds. All of the parents wanted their children to be chosen to be emperor, and all the children hoped they would be chosen too. When Ping received his seed from the emperor, why, he was the happiest child of all. Why, he was sure that he could grow the most beautiful flower. Ping filled a flower pot with rich soil. He planted his seed very, very carefully. He watered it every day. He couldn't wait to see it sprout, grow, and blossom into a beautiful flower. Day after day passed, 
and nothing, nothing grew in his pot. Ping was very worried. He put new soil and a bigger pot. Then he transferred the seed into the rich black soil. Another two months he waited and still nothing happened. By and by, a whole year passed. There he is, there's snow on the ground. He's wearing his little scarf and his little hat and he's still waiting for his seed to sprout. Spring came, and all the children put on their best clothes to go greet the emperor. They rushed to the palace with their beautiful flowers, eagerly hoping that they would be chosen to be the next emperor. Ping was ashamed of his empty pot. He thought all the other children would laugh at him because for once he could not get a flower to grow. His clever friend ran by, holding a great big plant. Ping, he said, you're not really going to go to the emperor with an empty pot, are you? Couldn't you grow a great big flower like mine? I've grown lots of flowers better than yours, Ping said. It's just this seed. It just won't grow. Ping's father overheard. And he said, you did your best, and your best is good enough for the emperor. Holding the empty pot in his hands, Ping went straight away to the palace. The emperor was looking at the flowers slowly, one by one. Look at all those beautiful flowers. How beautiful all the flowers were, but the emperor was frowning, and he wasn't saying a word. Hmm. Finally, he came to Ping. Ping hung his head in shame, expecting to be punished. The emperor asked him, Why do you bring me an empty pot? Ping started to cry and he said, Well, I planted the seed you gave me and I watered it every day, but, but it didn't sprout. And, and then I put it in a bigger pot with better soil. But still, it didn't sprout. I tended it all year long, but nothing grew. So today, Emperor, I, I had to bring you an empty pot without a flower. It was, it was the best I could do. When the Emperor heard these words, a smile slowly spread across his face, and he put his arm around Ping. Then he exclaimed, to one and all, I have found him. I have found the one person worthy of being emperor. Where all of you got your seeds from, I do not know. For the seeds that I gave all of you had been cooked. So it was impossible for any of them to grow. Tricky emperor. I admire Ping's great courage to appear before me with the empty truth. And now, I reward him with my entire kingdom and make him emperor of all the land. The end. The empty pot. Well, that was a very wise story. Yes, very wise indeed. As a matter of fact, I think it will really help our dear friend Benjamin Bunny. 
Why, Professor Stripes, what's wrong with Benjamin Bunny? Well, you see, he's been very sad that he could not get his flower to grow. Well, as we learned in the story, it takes patience and a lot of love to get our flowers to grow. Let's go check on Benjamin Bunny right now. Come here, Benjamin Bunny. What do you have here? Oh, that looks like you're doing a really good job, Benjamin Bunny. I'm very proud of you. Now, how about it? Would all of you like to learn how to make some fun flowers or yummy things to eat in your garden as well? Oh, I think that would be a lovely idea. Well, how about we go ahead and get started, and instead of crafty time, let's do planty time. All right, everyone, so today we're going to learn how to make a garden from things in our very own kitchen. So as you can see, I have a lemon here, and this is where you're going to need to get your grown-ups to help you to cut the lemon in half very carefully. You wanna hope that you don't slice the seeds in half. As you can see right here, as you open the lemon, I have one, I'm gonna put it on the silver tray, two, and another seed inside the lemon. I might have to dig it up just a little bit with my thumbnail. I have three seeds. So three is our magic number. The first thing we're going to do with our three seeds is we're gonna get the soil ready. This is planting soil. You can buy this at any local gardening store or even your local general store. And you always want to plant your plants in a clay pot because the clay absorbs the water and helps it to drain. There's usually a hole in the bottom of your pot. If there's not a hole in the bottom of your pot, then you need to make one because the water needs to drain or your plant won't grow. So the first thing you want to do is to take your watering can and water your soil so it's nice and wet. This is my favorite part because I kind of like to get my hands in the soil and stir it all around. <laughs> there we go, make it nice and wet. It's not quite wet enough, so I get to add some more water. And you want to do what's called aerating the soil. You want to make sure that the soil is not packed down because the little roots of the little seeds need to be able to move around and they're delicate. So you want to make a nice place for them to grow. And then I'm going to take my hand and rinse it off in a pot. And then I'm going to just simply take my little seed, which I have, oops, let's get one off the tray. They're very, very tiny. I have to pull it back this way. See how little they are? Isn't that amazing that something so wonderful can grow from something so small? And then you just push it in. Usually a seed needs to go in about an inch. And you just push it in gently and pat it down. And now we're gonna get the other seed. Ooh, being very tricky. And we're gonna go ahead and take that, stick it in there really quick. <laughs> and we're gonna stick that one in a little bit different place and kind of pat it down. And then we have one more little seed right here. One of my favorite parts of gardening is getting my hands dirty. I love it. I just love jumping into the earth and having fun. And very nice, we'll put that one right over there. And now you have a special magical birthplace for your lemon tree. And you're gonna give it a little bit of water. And you want to water your plants a little bit every day, not too much, not too little. And one of the most important things that you need to do is talk to the plants. Now my dear friend, Honey the hummingbird's very good at that. Oh, that's right, everyone. You must always talk to your plants and give them great encouragement like, I see you sprouting, great job. I just love the sunshine, don't you? Just lovely chatter like that. <laughs> well, I don't know how scientific that is, but I've often found that I love talking to the plants and the plants love talking to me. Here's an example of one of our yummy treats that we grew. And now we're gonna tell you about another plant you can grow. I can't show this to you here because this is usually something that you plant outside. But did you know that you can just take a regular potato, especially the kind that get a little wrinkly, and just stick it in the ground and water it and see what happens? Because you can grow potatoes too. All right, everyone, get out your gardening gloves. 
Get out something yummy from your kitchen, find the seeds, and go have fun. Oh, that was so much fun. I'm very excited to get started on my yummy garden. Oh, yes, I am as well. I can't wait to go into the refrigerator and find out what I'm going to plant today. <laughs> it looks like Bunny has already found a lemon. Yeah, that's right, Story Lady. I'm excited to grow lemons so we can have a lemonade stand. Oh, Bunny, you always have some wonderful creative ideas. I hope all of you had fun today. You learned a good lesson to always be honest, tell the truth, and work hard. Take care, everyone. Goodbye, farewell, and don't forget that we love you. <laughs> we do love you. Thank you so much for watching our story today. Are you all ready to go plant your garden? Because I know we are. Bye. Hi, everybody. I hope you liked today's story. Don't forget to press the like button. And the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the little bell so you can be notified for our next video. Thanks for coming.